Hey there superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and I'm coming to you, I've left time a little bit short, I'm about to run out the door, get to another amazing F45 session, um, but I wanted to squeeze in this video for you guys, um, I got a little bit caught up because I've been doing a lot of writing this morning and I'll share some of that with you guys a little bit later on today, um, I'll put a post out, but I wanted to deliver this message because it's this trap that we can fall into and we have absolutely no idea that we've fallen into it and we're beating ourselves up and we're being driven by pain and all sorts of crazy stuff. So I really want to dive into this one with you guys. And the topic for today is that it's easy to know when you're not progressing towards something meaningful, but have you even defined what it is that you want? Okay, that's the question. Because a lot of us, and I, I've, I've fallen in this boat many, many times um, and had to pull myself back out of it. And I've worked with so many different clients who do this as well. And I'm just surrounded by humanity and we all have this kind of pattern. And what that is, is that we can get so down on ourselves. We can get so down on life right? And we can beat ourselves up knowing, because we always have that innate and internal knowing that knows that we're not living to our greatest potential, that knows that we're playing small, that knows that we're not, you know, experiencing, creating, doing, contributing to our highest capacity. And it's that inner eating up that kind of is, you know, on our, on the forefront of our mind a lot of the time. Right, And what happens is we can get so aware of that, we can be totally and utterly aware of the fact that we are not living our high, to our highest capacity. We're not living within the confines of what's meaningful to us, you know? And so what happens is though, many of us are unaware of what it would actually even look like if we were. So we're beating ourselves up, we're staying trapped and stuck in this self-judgment, in this criticism of our life as it is, but we haven't actually given ourselves a way out. We haven't actually clearly defined what it is that is meaningful, that is inspiring, that is a life that we'd love to live, right? And, the, and so we get stuck in this rut of beating ourselves up with no actual way out. And we're unaware, we're totally unconscious to this whole pattern and this cycle that we can't seem to break free of. So. I wanted to deliver this, and like I said at the beginning of today's message, I have done a lot of writing this morning. I'm going to get a post out to you guys today that is on this topic, but going more in depth with uh, anxiety, procrastination, some really key stuff that's really connected to not having a defined goal, not having um, a definition of what inspires you, what's valuable to you, and a clearly um, and easily, you know, simple defined structure of taking action to manifest what we want in our lives. You know, I've got a post coming out with that, but I wanted to deliver this quick message for you guys just to get you triggered into action in terms of self-reflection, into really going inside of yourself and asking yourself, you know, if you're somebody who is feeling like you're not progressing towards anything meaningful, if you're not, you know, your life is meaningless, if you're not really feeling like you're making a difference or growing or contributing, whatever that is, then I want you to ask yourself, well, have you got clarity, really specific clarity over what that would even look like if you were attaining that and progressing towards that? And that's key. You might get a rude awakening, or actually not a rude one, an uh, incredibly empowering awakening to the fact that you're kind of just stuck in a cycle, beating your head up a brick wall that you don't actually need to. And take this time, take all that energy that you're putting towards judging yourself and seeing what's wrong and actually take it back and go, how am I going to channel this energy into actually creating something of real clarity, right? Of something that really inspires me, that I feel so fulfilled in progressing towards and going on that journey with. And if you get that clarity and you define what that is, I guarantee you, you will start progressing towards what is actually meaningful.
painful and you'll get yourself out of that self-judgment and that rut that you absolutely do not need to be a part of and is a totally unconscious pattern that is really taking you away from making the most of your life all right so I've spoken a lot. I've done it really fast because, yeah, I literally have to run out the door really, really soon. But I definitely want to take some time to connect with you guys. So make sure that you're dropping me a comment. Say hi. Any words of wisdom that you would love to contribute to this conversation? I absolutely love it when you guys do that. And so I'm, you know, not just talking talking at you, but we're having a conversation. Um, so definitely drop me a comment. And uh, let's check in. I've got Rob in the house. Awesome. And and uh, Jean-Francois, great to see you. And Michael, thank you so much for the amazing time that I got to spend with you yesterday at your beautiful home. Oh, amazing. And Con's in the house as well. And Judy and Gia um, Giannis, I think I always forget. But um, hello to you. Great to have you back. And Morris is here. And Edgar, um, sending you love from Chihuahua, Mexico. Always receiving your love, Edgar, and sending tons back. Thank you for being here. And Thomas, hello to you. And Paulo, hi, I loved you. I'm from Brazil. God bless you. Thank you, Paulo. Much love to you, my friend. And super grateful that you're tuning in all the way from Brazil. That's so amazing. And Rob, yes, celebrate the small steps when feeling overwhelmed and gain momentum again. Go rock that F45. I may sign up too. Oh, Rob, you absolutely should. Go give it a go they do a free trial give it a go for a week um, but absolutely it is totally in alignment with me right now um, where I've been just kind of at the gym training myself for so long it's so it became so boring um, that it was hard for me to be motivated to get there right so f45 has brought the element of group you know I've got an amazing community we're all doing it together and I don't have to think it out like somebody's telling me what to do and I'm absolutely pushing myself past the current limits that I would be pushing myself to if I was training myself so highly recommended Rob um, about to and it's so energized I'm feeling so amazing from it. So, and I'm also on a juice cleanse, by the way, guys. So I've been having only juices um, for the past seven days now. And I don't know, I haven't been on too many videos, but you might have seen my energy levels go up and up and up. And just yesterday, if Michael is still around on this call, on this video, um, I got to have a really empowering healing session with him. So you guys know that um, a couple of days ago, uh, on Friday night, I went to a free event and I was asked to come up on stage and actually had a little bit of a healing and uh, my back pain disappeared and it was just kind of crazy and weird and blah, you, you know, your mind just kind of blows. And um, I had the pleasure of um, having another session with that incredible soul, uh, Michael Stratford. Um, so you can check out his stuff, uh, The Spirit Healer. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling very energized by that as well. So Juice Cleanse, F45, getting some healing. You know, you've got to go to war with what you want in your life and having health and having vibrancy and energy so that you can actually, you know, have that energy to tap into and attain the things that you're most inspired to. Create those things, contribute at your highest capacity. You've got to look after your health and your energy. So Love that, Rob. And um, Vicky's here as well. And Rob, awesome to see you. And uh, Cinda and Vince and Michael and Angie and Samuel. Uh, I guess staying where you are has to be more painful than progress for you to make the decision. Yeah, absolutely. So what is that? That uh, I think it's Tony Robbins. Uh, I don't know who said it, actually. Is it Jim Rohn or Tony Robbins or somebody amazing like that? Um, but once the pain of staying the same starts to outweigh the pain of change, you'll make you'll take the action, right? So absolutely. And my post that I'm putting out this afternoon, so keep an eye out for that. I've got some steps in there for you to really get into that action. So I love that, Samuel. Thanks for your contribution. Love you being here. And Edgar, loving your message, really attuned with this a Taurus full moon by decluttering your mind. I love that, Edgar. So, so cool. And I'm grateful that you're finding value in today's message. And I always love seeing you. And uh, Erwin's here as well. And Katrina, yay, and Gutam. Great to see you. And uh, Polly is here as well. 
Awesome. So I'm really hoping that today's message has definitely served you, um, you know, and it's got you thinking about how it's so easy to know and beat yourself up for not living to your highest potential, not being, you know, not creating any meaning, not progressing towards something meaningful. But I really want you to not get stuck in the trap of being stuck in that pattern without even knowing, without even having clarity of a way out. You know, you've got to define where you're going, you know, not just look where you're at and judge it and condemn it and stay in that victim mentality, you know, own where you're at, you know, see it for how it is, but then define what you actually want really define that so that you'll know when you're progressing towards it. Okay. That's super important. And, uh, and Michael has joined us as well. Awesome. So I'm signing off guys. I'm running out the door. F45 going to go smash it. Um, but as always, I'm sending you guys all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope amazing and extraordinary that you're doing something super empowering and today's message has absolutely served you i'm signing off i'm sending you guys all of my love and i cannot wait to see you soon and uh thank you so much to each and every one of you guys who've been able to join me live i love it when you can join me live i love your words of wisdom and everything that you share and contribute and a link is up above if any of you guys aren't currently part of the limitless potential community you know it's a facebook group four and a half thousand people from all across the globe you know in this community it's all free come and join us links up above um, and get inspired and reach your potential all right i'm sending you my love and i'm off